If we're talking about hyper grace in terms of uh, grace covering everything, including uh, there are those in that movement that are basically antinomian. That is, they believe that once we are experience experience grace, we're no longer under the law in any sense, even in the instructive sense. And and I'm going to say, if a person is saved by grace, not by the law, we understand that, that nevertheless, that doesn't mean it's the old question that Paul raised, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? And his answer is, God forbid. But some people want to make it sound that once you have experienced grace, then basically you can live however you want, you know, free from the law, blessed condition, I can sin all I want, still have remission. And, uh, <clears throat> and like I say, this is one of the greatest threats to the contemporary evangelical community, I think, right now, is the resurgence of a radical character of antinomianism uh, and libertinism. And, and part of it is related to that... Uh, uh, a seriously deficient doctrine of the uh, the carnal Christian that has mm-hmm. been so widespread that believes that a person can actually be a Christian and still not have had their constitutive nature changed by the Holy Spirit. They're still in a state of carnality, total carnality. That's just an impossibility.